everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Sensi consultant. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we are gonna be doing some bring back my bar voting together. I always love this time. We just wrapped up with the most recent bring back my bar promotion that Sensi has put on, which means now it's time to start planning for the next bring back my bar. Now, in case you are new here or new to Sensi, hello and welcome. Sensi does all kinds of super fun promotions throughout the year. One of my favorite promotions is bring back my bar. This is done twice a year, once in January and once in June. And what it is, is we are given the opportunity, not just consultants, everyone who has internet access has the same capability to make these votes to see some of our favorite scents come back. So as you know, Throughout the year, as seasons change, as collections come and go, Scentsy cannot keep all bajillion fragrances um, around all the time. Uh, in a perfect world, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, we do have to say goodbye to some, some fragrances in order to make room for some new fragrances, right? But with that, then you're sad to see some of your favorites go, right? So Scentsy started doing um, what's called Bring Back My Bar, where they give everyone an opportunity to vote back their favorite fragrances. And the top 20, 25, it just kind of depends on what Sensei decides, <laughs> um, either 20 or 25 fragrances that win the most votes are brought back for one month to be able to purchase them again. I love this because there's some scents that have been retired for a really long time and you, maybe you didn't have a chance to try them. And now that they are kind of changing the rules just a little bit, we're gonna go over all the details. We're also gonna make some votes together so you can see how to do this process. Um, but they kind of changed it a little bit because there were some times where like some of the usual suspects, while they're great, but um, a lot of like the same types of scents were coming back. Happy birthday, love it, it's one of my favorites, but it was coming back quite frequently. Another usual suspect is like banana nut bread. Again, one of my favorites, but some of those like typical fragrances were being voted back on a somewhat regular basis. So Sensi kind of changed the rules just a little bit. So I'm gonna read directly from Sensi just so I don't misspeak at all. Um, and then I'll give you my two cents and then we're gonna hop over to the computer and make some votes ourselves. I'll also share with you a little loophole um, to like get extra votes in. <laughs> um, if you know your girl here, you know I am always looking for loopholes to get my favorite scents to get some added votes. <laughs> So we will we'll go over all of that together. So the next round of bring back my bar voting is here. Voting has now officially started. Voting is only going to be open for the next 48 hours, actually less than that now because the voting opened earlier today. So you have until 10 a.m. Pacific time on Friday to cast as many votes as you can for some of your favorite scents or for some scents that just sound super interesting to you, sound like something you may really like, Throw it a vote, see, see what happens. Okay, uh, this July, you can vote for the retired fragrances you'd like to see again. The top 200 fragrances discontinued before June 2021 that have not been voted back in the last five years are eligible to return, including licensed bars. The 20 Scentsy bars that received the most votes will be available for purchase on my website or your consultant's website this coming January. So this next January, 2024, oh my gosh, it's gonna be here before you know it, just just wait. Um, that's when the top 20 fragrances for this round of Bring Back My Bar voting, uh, the most popular ones will be brought back this coming January. So definitely make your votes. So uh, starting now, through 10 a.m. this coming Friday, which is July 7th, um, that is Pacific time, get your votes in. Get your votes in. You are allowed five votes per day per website. <laughs> so here's the thing that I like to kind of share with you about that. Um, so you can go onto other consultants' websites. It doesn't mean you're cheating on your consultant or you're being disloyal in any kind of way. Um, as a consultant, we do not see 
who is placing votes on whose website. So like there could be 17 bajillion people who are voting on my website and I have no clue of it. I, I, I am not notified. Um, we don't get like emails or, you know, we don't get any of your information because um, there's a section typically, I haven't done the voting yet because we're going to do it together. Typically, um, there will be a little section at the bottom that will um, allow you to enter in your name and your email address we're not we don't get any of that information so um that's something that sensi gets but we don't actually like get any of that so not to worry there so don't feel like you know you're being disloyal at all this is just voting so you're not placing orders or anything like that it's it's just it's totally free and you can go on to as many consultant websites as you can possibly find and I'm going to show you how we can go through and find some different consultant websites um, and you can pl place your votes that way so five times sorry five votes per day they can all be the same five if you want to if there is one particular scent that you're like oh my gosh this was my Scentsy heartbreak I would do anything to bring this scent back um you can vote for the same five if you want to you can do five different ones you can do two of one cent three of the other whatever however you want to do it you can totally do that um but you can go on to different websites you can also use different devices so you can use a computer you can use a tablet you can use your phone it's going to be five votes per device per day per website so um you know your girl here is going to be throwing if i see any of my like gosh, what do I really want to see? Um, I really want to see, but I, I'm just going to make some like hopeful suggestions <laughs> and maybe I can like speak it into existence. Um, I really hope to see like Christmas cactus. I really hope to see peony petals. I really hope to see like Barry's Jubilee. Barry's Jubilee, I feel like is one that is pretty much always in the running to be voted for, but I feel like no one ever throws any votes its way. And I love Barry's Jubilee. It's so good. Um, yeah, so th those are just some that I can think of off the top of my head. Lemon Drop It Low, Peach and White Amber. Would love to see some of those come back. And I feel like those haven't been around for quite a while. So we'll see. But I kind of like how Sensi's doing a little twist here and that um, the eligible fragrances have to not have been available for five years. So I feel like that's totally fair and it gives us a chance to try some other scents um, that maybe we're not familiar with. Maybe this is something where you're gonna see some scents that you are not familiar with. Maybe were they were around before you were um, hanging around with Scentsy and so you're like, hey, this sounds interesting or I've heard so-and-so talk about this particular scent or hey, I've been wanting to give that a try. Now's your time to throw some votes their way. So let's go ahead and hop over to the computer and do some voting. Okay, so let's get to voting and I will go ahead and start off by apologizing for the echo. There's nothing I can do about that. So I'm sorry if it's annoying. Um, okay, so to in order to vote, you will go on to my website, your consultant's website, not your consultant's website, Sensi's general website, any Sensi website you can find <laughs> that has the capability to vote you're gonna to go to that website. So you will see, of course, we have our Lilo and Stitch collection that is showing on the front page, but if you look a little closer underneath that, you will see some other um, options that you can click on here. So um, we are gonna to go to this beautiful section here that is bring back my bar voting. Don't miss your chance to bring back your favorites. So we'll go ahead and click on that. Let's see. Okay, this is the first time I'm seeing who is going to be eligible for voting. Okay. Um, and any time that you are scrolling, like if you see something and you're like, oh, I remember that, or oh, I have no idea what Ace smells like, and it's not something that's super obvious, like apple crush or amaretto um something that you're like it's just like a pretty um i don't want to say generic name but um that something a scent that you wouldn't know what it smells like just by the name of it you can click on view details so you'll click on that and ace is described as definitely unexpected tangerine and lavender and robed and dark chocolate and sweet musky amber. So that's how you can find out what these scent notes are here. And we have some Aladdin bars. 
And what I love about this is as the days go on, you will see this little banner here that will uh, tell you which are the top 25 currently. This will change um, throughout the voting period. Um, it will it will kind of freeze towards the end. So even though like if you are on like just a few minutes before the end of the voting period, um, you can like make a note of what the top 25 are when it ends, but that doesn't mean that's necessarily what the top 25 actually are. Um, cause it, the system can only update so frequently. So, um, but this is kind of nice to see like as, the voting goes on to see like what scents are like currently in the in the running. So um, I haven't smelled Amaretto, but I would totally I think I am going to throw on one of my votes here. Uh, let's see here. So Amaretto is an almond scented fragrance sweetened with honey and spice. So that sounds absolutely delightful. So I'm going to go ahead and throw one of my votes here. So now that I have clicked on that vote button, you can scroll up and you can see how many votes you have and how many votes that you have done so far. So I'm going to throw one vote there. Um, I am going to spend quite a bit of time voting. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I think I am going to throw a few votes this way, but I just, I kind of want to just see what all is available and kind of show you um, the process to voting. So I have never heard of always, I've never heard of always. No, it would be kind of cool as if it said on here, like when it was last available or when it was like first launched. I think that would be kind of cool. So always is described as a burst of fruit followed by velvety vanilla and sandalwood. That sounds absolutely lovely. So, okay, Apple Crush, that's a really great one. And you might be wondering why this one has a bicycle on the front of the clamshell where the others do not. Um, you'll see some have butterflies, some just don't. Um, this was a part, we actually had a kids line, like beyond like Scentsy Buddies and Buddy Clips and things like that. We actually had like a kids line. So like we had Gleeful Grape, we had Candy Crepe. I think Oodles of Orange was actually a part of the kids line. So some more like, I don't want to say kid friendly scents because I feel like all of our scents are kid friendly, but you know, it's like scents that are more simple that kids would be more drawn to. So there's that. Okay, we're still in the A's. So I'm going to kind of go ahead and move along here. So I just kind of want to see uh, Barry's Jubilee, you guys. Barry's Jubilee. Okay, I that's going to get several votes from me. But I just want to throw one just for right now so that I can show you um, the voting process. Oh my gosh. Okay, like you'll be my best friend <laughs> if you can throw just one vote to Barry's Jubilee. If you don't mind, I'll give you the biggest hug and high five ever if we can bring this one back. Um, Barry Bubble Blue. Again, that one was another one that was in the kids line. Kind of, if I remember correctly, it's like a blueberry type scent, I think. Well, let's see. A few details. Uh, a delicious blast of blue raspberry, tart green apple, and sponge sugar will brighten up bath time, bedtime, anytime. So that one was fun. Blessings. I feel like this was a scent of the month. I don't think I loved it. Welcome, welcome the warmth of home, family gatherings, and holiday traditions with Blessings, a classic blend of aromatic spices, ground nutmeg, and clove, cinnamon bark, sandalwood, and amber. There's a lot going on there, but it does sound like it would be a nice, like, fall time scent. But I remember this scent, and I feel like I didn't love it. Ooh, you want to know what scent I, the first scent ever that I had, like, a physical reaction to, like, not in a good way, is Brayburn. <laughs> Brayburn, this was a scent of the month. And I'm sorry if you absolutely loved it. I just could not, I could not. This one, like, it made me nauseous just to smell it even in the clamshell. And I don't know why, because it sounds amazing. This is, Brayburn is described as fresh apple and a luscious assortment of tropical fruit. Enjoy a sprightly pop of whipped sugar and creamy vanilla. That sounds like it would be amazing, right? Um, yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> It wasn't from what I remember. Uh, and I, I know I that name is burned in my brain because I was like, oh my gosh, like there have been scents that have come and gone where it's just like, oh, that's all right. Not my favorite, but like, it's fine. 
No, that one I have like a physical reaction. Candy Dandy. That one was a really good one. I think this one's cotton candy-ish. Candy Dandy is described as almost sweet enough to eat. Kids will go gaga for this delicious candy scented concoction of mango, lemon drops, and creamy vanilla. Currently in the top 25. Uh, caramel Spice. Casablanca. See, there's quite a few of these that I just do not remember. Casablanca, an, an exotic blend of fir and cypress with hints of water over sheer white musk. Okay. Chili mango. I feel like chili mango has been around in the last five years. I don't know. Um, citrus pop. I know that that one's a great one. This is a super great one. I know um, quite a few people would love to see this one come back, and I think my husband would be one of them. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a vote this way. But first, let's see the description. Citrus pop. Bright, but not overly sweet. This radiant blend of bergamot, sparkling mandarin, and orange blossom was crafted especially for those who love a pure citrus scent. Vote. <laughs> I know Sean's going to love that one, and I know that's going to make a lot of people super happy to have it back. Clarity. What does that smell like? That should smell like coffee. <laughs> Clarity. An invigorating blend of rosemary, thyme, citron leaves, and freshly squeezed lemon. Okay. Okay. Let's see what else we have. Oh, Crazy Coconut. Oh, that one's a really good one, too. I'm glad it's in the top 25. Just like a pure coconut scent. Really nice. Coconut Citrus Parfait. Cocoa Clementine. The, I, I, I do not remember any of these. <laughs> coconut Citrus Parfait. Never heard of this one. Creamy coconut milk and vanilla bean with a hint of citrus. That sounds interesting. Coco Clementine. The scent of childhood. Orange flavored candy wrapped in milk chocolate. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Do we or don't we? That's a great one. Dazzling pomegranate. That's a great one. Davenport. I feel like this was a scent of the month at some point. The warmth of cardamom, amber, and vanilla. Complemented by Artemisia. I totally probably just butchered that. And sandalwood create a comforting, cozy fragrance. Just Duke. <laughs> Let's see what Duke smells like. A charismatic blend of cardamom intertwined with mahogany, heightened by golden amber. Okay. Dolce de Leche is in the top 25 currently, which is a great one. Eggnog is in the top 25 currently. I don't remember this one. Ah, do I? I have spiced eggnog in my club. And you know what? I actually do think I remember this one because I remember this was brought back, I think, for a Bring Back My Bar um, a long time ago, I feel like. Um, and when they brought back or when they brought when they created spiced eggnog, I remember thinking I liked spiced eggnog better, but warm, spicy tones of nutmeg, rum and cream. The scent is a real holiday favorite. Let's see what else. Everything nice. That's a good fall scent. Yeah, some of these I am not familiar with, which is kind of exciting. Forever Pink? I don't know what this one is. Cherry Blossoms and Freesia with blackcurrant jam and musk in an unmistakably pink fragrance. That sounds nice. Fresh Cut Cantaloupe? Heck yes. Mythic Journey, one of my favorite licensed bars. Oh, it's so good, you guys. It's really, really good. We have Garden of Love, Ginger Snap, Go Go Goji, Goody Goody Gumdrop, Grapefruit and Grenadine, Happy Go Lucky, that one was another really good one. Luscious Red Berries, Silky Orchid, and Japanese Plum Floating on a Cloud of Amber Vanilla. Irish Cream. Jungle Jam. I feel like this one was another really good kids one. Set off on a jungle adventure surrounded by candied pear. I do remember pear. Ripe pineapple, fresh picked strawberry, and even a delightful dollop of whipped cream just for fun. 
you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> All right. Wait. Okay. So that was vote number four. And we are now in the K's. Kiwi fruit. I, remember, I think I remember this one. Sweet tart granada spiked with kiwi and sugar cane. Lavender vanilla. Oh, that one was really good too. Okay. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do this vote. And then I'm going to show you how to... <laughs> the loophole, how you can go and cast other votes other places. So um, remind me, we're in the L's. <laughs> okay, so this is the area that I was talking about where you can put your contact information down, but you don't have to. Um, if you choose to, you don't, you can so, uh, not select to sign up for any like emails or anything. Um, and consultants don't see any of this information. So like we're not notified or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about that. Or you can just not provide your contact info. And there you have it. So the votes have been tallied this particular round just because we're trying just to see what is currently available and then I'm really going to get serious into voting. Um, we did this round as Amaretto, Berry's Jubilee. I will do several rounds of just Berry's Jubilee. Um, we're going Citrus Pop, Jungle Jam, and Lavender Vanilla. So see down here, voting is limited to once every 24 hours, unless you find loopholes. <laughs> So now we're going to go on to Sensi's general website, just general website, not attached to any, any one consultant. And we're going to place some votes there. Okay. So now we are on Sensi's just general website, which is just Sensi.com. You can see there's no consultant who is, who is attached to this and you can place more votes here. Ding. Look at this. <laughs> We've got five more votes that are available. So let's skip down to the L's. Flutter was another really good one. Okay. Skip down to the L's. Lavender vanilla is the last one. Lemons and berries, really good one. Linger. That one, that one's going to bring me back to my early, early, early Scentsy days. Like when I was a customer and when I just signed up, um, I actually had a brick of this. It was really good. Linger. Pink grapefruit, sugared apple, lavish praline, and flirty marshmallow swirl. Uh, marshmallow swirl, excuse me. Create a fragrance that says stay. Vote. Okay. So let's see what else we have. Mandarin toffee treat. I remember that one. That one was like a scent of the month in like September, October, I think, like around Halloween time. Lots of lavender. You would think lots of lavender would be purple, not green. Lots of lavender is described as calming blend of chamomile and lavender. So there you have it. Uh, let's see here. Mariposa Lily. That one was another really good one. Mellow Moment. Mineral Springs. I don't know this one. Mineral Springs. Energizing grapefruit and bergamot with a melange of herbs and spring water. Mountain Retreat. What does that smell like? The woods? <laughs> Mountain Retreat, gentle florals and juniper berries with calming herbs and ocean air. I apologize if you can hear any type of machinery. We're finishing up our landscaping. Yay. Mystic Magnolia. I think that one was a good one too. Orange You Glad. Let's see. Orange You Glad, the perfect pop of sunny citrus, tart mandarin and sweet persimmon with a punch of fall spices. Oh, that sounds nice. I'll throw that one. I am really intrigued by so many that I am not aware of. Peony petals. <gasps> Peony petals, you guys. Okay. So if you're finding yourself super generous <laughs> and with extra votes that you just don't know what to do with, uh, Peony petals, it's beautiful. I have like one bar and like a half, I think, left of peony petals. I am not a super floral girl, but this floral is beautiful. Peony petals is peony and rose petals dance on a soft breeze. Okay, listen to me. I don't do rose scents. I cannot do rose scents. This is done so well. It is a sweet floral. It is not powdery. It is gorgeous. If you love floral scents, 
this is beautiful. If you're picky like me and you like flor you like some florals, you really don't love other florals if they're too powdery. Um, I get it. This is beautiful. Let's see what else. Pink currant and birchwood, pink cutie, pink pepper. I don't remember pink pepper. Fruity floral and feisty pink pepper is a comforting yet contemporary scent. Polynesian dreams. This is another one that I feel like does come um, come back in terms of like being able to vote for, but is another one that I'm kind of sad doesn't really get any attention. So I love this. This is uh, this is a wonderful tropical fruity scent. Polynesian dreams. Pure island indulgence. Lush honeydew, kiwi, and papaya with blossoming hibiscus. So good. Okay, we're already at four votes. Again, <laughs> we're in the peas. Pixie! Pixie's another really good one, you guys. A mischievous moonscape of pink pepper, mandarin, and heliotrope, deepened by exotic teakwood and vanilla oak. It sounds interesting. It's beautiful, you guys. I love it. We're going to do that. Okay, so we've got our next five. We are in the peas. Oh my goodness, we have three different peas in here. <laughs> okay, so we're going to go ahead and submit these. And now what we're going to do um, is I'm going to show you how you can go onto other consultants website without knowing who they are or where to go, like where you can find this. So on when you're on Sensi's general website, go to choose a consultant. So from here, you can search in your area if you want to. You don't have to search in your area. You can search wherever the heck you want to. So I'm in Idaho. We're going to go. We're going to go back to where I came from, which is Sacramento. <laughs> So we're going to see here. All right. We are going to just go on to Daishan's. I don't know Daishan, but let's go ahead and throw some votes. And look at this. Our, our voting has started over. <laughs> so if there's a scent you really want to come back, vote on multiple websites. Or if you want to throw like single votes in a f through to a few different um since that's a really great way to go pear blossom this is another great one okay okay pixie that's where we left off point set of pine i don't know this one sparkling pomegranate and tangerine oh layered with evergreens amber and spice that sounds interesting polynesian dreams poppies and clover i feel like i know that one delicate poppies and morning mist Herald Spring, accompanied by delicate lily of the valley, irises, and white amber. That sounds nice. We'll do that. Okay. Saddle up. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Um, <laughs> that saddle up was a part of our country born uh, warmer bar bundle that sold out crazy fast. So if you want to see it back, here you go. Red Delicious. Smells like an apple. Crisp, juicy apples fresh from the orchard. It's a really great apple scent. All right, what else do we, ooh, sangria. Perfectly, perfectly blended Brazilian oranges, currants, and Merlot. I am so excited to see so, like I have never heard of sentimental cider. Rich musky apple cider infused with heady allspice and star anise. I am really kind of excited. While I'm kind of disappointed, I'm still not seeing some like that I'd really love to see come back, but I am, I'm really interested to see what does get brought back. Simply Patchouli. <laughs> Top 25 currently. Uh, it's so funny because they, Sensi had done this whole like Simply line, uh, Simply Apricot, Simply Cinnamon, Simply Lemon, Simply Lime, Simply Noshi Pear, Simply Patchouli, Simply Strawberry. We had uh, Simply Vanilla, Simply, there, there was like a whole slew of Simply Scents. Pretty funny to see those come back. Sparkling Citrus Pear, this one was a good one. Sweet Noshi Pear, Enlivened by Citrus Zest, and Bright Lemon Verbena. We'll go ahead and do that one, two, three votes so far. Strawberry Sweetie, that one was a good one. Summer Sunrise and Summer Sunset. This was kind of a cool thing that they had done. Um, 
Sensi did two scents of the month, and one was Summer Sunrise, one was Summer Sunset. It was kind of a cool thing. Um, I can't remember if they were made to be mixed as well, but it was kind of a cool concept. Uh, Summer Sunrise, savor the stillness of dawn with freshly grown juniper berry, cardamom, and a crackle of black pepper, enlightened by aromatic bergamot and cedar. I remember I liked, I liked both of them. I think I liked Summer Sunset just a little bit better, but it was a really cool concept to do like two cents of the month. Summer sunset, delight in the sun's last rays as brilliant pomegranate, black currant, and rhubarb dissolve into a horizon of sugared lemon and vanilla frost. Yeah, this one was the one I really liked. So, but still, cool concept. Sunburst bloom, surfer chick. This one was one of the first ever scents I ever purchased from Scentsy. This and Simply Vanilla, and I think Skinny Dippin' maybe. Uh, surfer chick. Bubbly lemon tonic and guava frolic with sweet cherries and blackberries in this youthful scent. Thank you. This one was a really good one. Went for Sensi's 10 year anniversary. They did this. Soothing chamomile, lavender and jasmine, and sweet vanilla envelop like a warm embrace. This one was really nice. Actually, you know what? Let's do that. Okay, so we've got five votes. We're gonna go ahead and submit these and we left off on T. So now let's go and pick another consultant. Okay, so we are back on Sensi's just general website. So we'll go to choose a consultant. And again, it doesn't have to be your current location. Um, you can choose absolutely anywhere you wanna go. We'll go to Boise. Okay, so let's go ahead and my girl Jenny, she is my friend. We will go ahead and vote on her website. Okay, so we were in T's. Okay, here we are back to T's. Oh, Tangelo, this one was a good one. A melange of sweet fruit and tangy citrus, tangelo, lemon, and apricot enhanced by fragrant lychee berry. titanium does it smell like metal <laughs> the fresh smell of the forest after rain aromatic herbs and cedar with lustrous silver birch okay okay Ooh, toasted apple butter currently in the top 25 creamy butter blended with ripe apples accented okay that sounds absolutely lovely accented with rich spices that sounds perfect for fall Toasted Coconut Armoretto, also in the top 25. Almond Praline Cream and just a hint of anise. See, so now you can get kind of crazy with your votes. You don't have to worry about like how many you're spending because you can go on to everyone's website. <laughs> there are thousands upon thousands upon thousands of consultants. So that means you can do thousands of votes if you have that kind of time. <laughs> uh twilight this one i think this one was kind of gave me some like baby powder vibes if i remember i do also remember the packaging so the label is black and the wax is red i thought that was always super cool but i don't think i loved the scent uh twilight is described as a lovely sophisticated scent infused with soft romantic florals and ocean air yeah i think this one was a little too powdery for me if i remember Twitter painted. I love this scent. It's really good. Definitely getting one of my votes. This is described as spring is in the air and it's waiting to sweep you off your feet in a swirl of sunkissed Mayor lemon, morning dew drops, and lush wild moss. So love that one. Oh, is that it? Is that it? <laughs> I guess so. We've got whipped vanilla pear. This one was really good. I just, I want to keep, I, I want to keep voting <laughs> for other, for other things. Uh, whipped vanilla pear is a luxuriant caramel glaze tops <clears throat> baked pear and whipped vanilla. So we'll go ahead and use our fifth here. So we have our votes and you can submit. Pink. So we're good here. We'll do one or two more rounds now that we know what is available. So let's check it out. Okay, so again, back to Sensi's general website. We're gonna choose somebody at random here. So you can search by name, you can search by zip, you can search by whatever you like. Let's 
go to Stacy's website. So now you can go in and if there's something you really, really want to see come back, um, then you can go and do that. <laughs> so we will submit and go back to Sensi's general page. Okay, and we're back. We'll do one more round together since I took a lot of time just kind of going through to see um, to see what was going to be available, so. Okay, uh, let's see. Do some more voting. We'll do peony petals. So you can just do this literally until the cows come home. <laughs> Like I said, however much time you have, you can go onto as many websites as you can find to place your, your votes um, and it, on as many devices as you possibly can if you really want to see something come back. So there you have it, and we will submit. So that is how you will do the voting process, and you will know if you... Um, if you have already visited the same website, because like this is Sensi's general website again, and um, you can click on vote and it'll say, sorry, <laughs> you already voted and voting is limited to once every 24 hours. And you say, that's okay. I will come up here and I will find another consultant. Thank you very much. All right, friends. So see, it is just that easy to place some votes towards some of your favorite scents that you want to see come back for the next Bring Back My Bar promotion that will be happening in January 2024. While I am kind of bummed to not see some of my favorites that I was hoping to see, um, I am definitely excited to see some of some new fragrances that I'm not familiar with, some great older fragrances that I'd love to see come back. Berry's Jubilee, come on, peony petal please. Um, I think it's definitely going to be a really great Bring Back My Bar lineup. Now we will find out who the winners are of this Bring Back My Bar voting session at the end of this month. So I may do a video just sharing who the winners are. Do you, do you guys want to see that? I always post it in our VIP group and I'll post it on my Instagram. Um, but let me know if you want a video on that. Um, Maybe depending on which scents do get voted back, if I have any of them. I don't know that I'm, I'm even gonna have any of them. Um, let me know, let me know if you wanna see a winner's video. Otherwise we are going to be seeing them come back in January. So typically before that promotion starts, I will do, um, usually we are given early access privileges for uh, consultants. So usually I'll do like a first sniffs with you and, um, we'll go over what bars are going to be back for the month of January. So we will see. Fingers crossed. We will see some really, really great ones come back and be relaunched, released out of the Sensi vault in January. So like I said, you don't have to be a consultant to make these votes. Anyone who has internet access has the capability to vote some of their favorite scents to come back for Bring Back My Bar. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this type of content. If you're new, please subscribe. If you already subscribed, be sure to hit the notification bell. That way you stay up to date with all things Sensi. Have an amazing day, you guys, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.